so these are all the ingredients I will be adding to my sauce. I have onions, unsalted butter, ginger pickles, the sauce of course, chicken broth, Coca-Cola, minced garlic, um, balsamic vinegar, worst extra sauce, and I also have uh, brown sugar. I love brown sugar, so I'll be adding all of this inside of the sauce right here. So you want to watch how I make the sauce, just keep watching. Here's my boil. Got my boil going over here. And this is the pot that I'll be using. I'm going to be adding butter inside of the pot. So I have onions right here. I already sliced them up. I'm about to throw them in the butter. And then I have the pickled ginger right here that I'm going to cut up some more. And then I'm going to throw that in the butter as well. Alrighty, I already put in the onions and the garlic. I decided not to cut up the garlic because I didn't have that much left inside the container it was in. So I'm going to let this um, cook for a while and then I'm going to come back and show you guys what I got. Also, don't forget to add your garlic. Add one more scoop. Yeah, I think I'm about to go ahead and add my sauce and the other ingredients because what I do is I let my sauce continue to cook with the onions. Here is the sauce. So I have a cup of the seasoning inside. I'm going to add as I go. I'm not going to pour the whole thing in there. Just in case I pour too much. This is a half cup of her seasonings. I poured the whole thing inside and... I think this is okay, so I'm going to go with this and use the same measurements for my next batch. Well, I'm not sure yet if I'm going to use a half a cup. We're going to see how this tastes first. Alrighty, so next I'm going to go in with my chicken broth and Coca-Cola and balsamic vinegar the instruction says add one cup of chicken broth or water four ounce of coke and one tablespoon of vinegar i'm not gonna i'm not gonna put all that coke in there what's four ounces it's like half of this so I might put half of four ounces, put two ounces, and then a tablespoon of balsamic vinegar, and then I'm gonna add a couple of caps of Worcester sauce, and I gotta add in the brown sugar. We're not going to measure a tablespoon, we're just going to tap it a little bit. So I'm going to come back 
and put in a wash extra sauce and the uh, brown sugar off camera. So I'm gonna do about uh, two tablespoons of the brown sugar and then um, two tablespoons of the wash extra sauce. And then I'm gonna add in a little bit of the Coke. I'm probably gonna do like two ounces of the Coke. And then I'm going to come back with everything after everything's done and completed. Alrighty, you guys, here's the sauce. It wasn't that hot enough for me, so I added some hot sauce, Tabasco sauce, and a tablespoon of crushed red pepper for my liking. But yeah, I already added the Coca-Cola, um, the brown sugar, and everything else, and this is what I got. So I'll be back with the finished product. What's up, Rich Gang? I am back with another one. In this video, I am doing another seafood boil, but this time I am trying out Be Love's new sauce. And it finally came out and it's on Amazon. So if you want to pick you up a bag, I will leave it in my description box below so you can get one yourself. But yeah, I just want to say, Be Love, if you are watching this, girl, I am so proud of you. Like, you really inspire me to do more, you know, and to live my life to the fullest. And, yeah, I'm just really, really, really proud of you. And I'm so happy that your sauce has came out. I can't wait to try it. And um, I cooked everything you see myself. I have king crab legs, corn on a cob, and a doli sausage, potatoes, colossal shrimp, and then I have a lot of lemons cut up because I love lemons with this sauce. I don't know why, but it just really brings out the taste to me. I really, really love these crab legs. They're so big, you can get to the meat faster because they're already cracked for you. And I bought these at Sam's Club, so if you wanna go and pick up the same crab legs I got, you can go to Sam's Club. But yeah, you don't really have to do much to them. Of course, it has spikes on the crab legs, but um, it's already pretty much cracked for you. So, you know, you won't be hurting yourself. And I just really, really appreciate that I can get to the meat a lot faster. I feel that um, with these, you can dip it in the sauce and it picks up more of the sauce and the seasoning better than the smaller crab so i really really love these all right here's my first bite with the sauce mm. it it's really good but I do like her first sauce better than this one Yo, I have not eaten anything all day, so I'm hungry. Mmm. Mmm. I can't even talk right now. Mm -hmm. The sauce is a little bit sweeter. Maybe because I put brown sugar in it. And how I eat my, how I make my sauce, I don't use the unsalted butter. Let's see if I can get this out without my scissors because my scissors are all the way downstairs, but I think I can get this open. 
it, I think. Yeah, here we go. This is my favorite part because I feel like it has like the majority of the meat in it. And then you put a whole lot of lemon juice on there. Oh, we got a shell in there. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Sorry, y'all, I'm not talking. This is so good. Mm. Mm. Y'all, this is the best meal on earth. I wonder how many people are like making the sauce right now or doing reviews on them. I know everybody's probably like <laughs> making videos. Um, I made the sauce and it tastes like this, it tastes like that, or whatever. Oh Lord, my mouth is so greasy. <laughs> mm. Truth be told, I can eat about two or three of these. It's so good and it has so much meat in it. This is like my favorite meal to eat. I can eat this every day, but I gotta have the sauce. I really like the sauce, but I think I'm gonna stick to how I initially make my sauce because I guess because I've been making it the same way over time and then I've gotten used to it so uh, I'm just gonna stick to how I've been making it this is good but um it has the oregano leaves in there and I don't really like that I just like mine to you know kind of look clean and I have like too much stuff flowing at the top but that's just my personal preference. I don't really like oregano. You know, that's one thing I do not, you know, add in there. I tried the pickled ginger in here. Normally, I don't use the pickled ginger. I just use, like, ginger paste or, like, uh, ground ginger. But this is my first time using the pickled ginger. And I can't tell what's what. I don't know if I'm eating onions or just straight ginger. But it's good, though. I really like it. Mm. These shrimps are good. The colossal shrimp. Mm. The sauce is not as hot as how I make it. This is kind of like a mouth. And then on the package, it says that it's spicy. I don't feel that it's spicy. Not to me. It got a little spice to it. But you're definitely going to have to tweak it, you know, and make it to your liking. But it's still good. It's real good with anadoli sauces.
Feel that seafood is really really fulfilling like you don't have to eat that much of it and you get full super fast i am definitely not on b-love's level like chicken they're gonna be a whole tray of seafood and it'll be gone like i can eat but not that much Yo, I am slowing down. Alright, Rich Gang, that's all I have to show in this video. I hope you all like it. If you do, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel right now if you haven't already. And also, turn on your post notifications so you know when I upload. And yeah, that's all I have in this video. Bye!